Okay, so we have seen in the previous um, video clip how to work with a set on less than um, instruction where we work with inequality. So now what I'd like to do is use that um, idea of checking to see if value is less than and then looping based on those conditions. For our substitutions, we're going to use um, H, I, and J for S0, S1, and S2. So, all right, let's go for it. Um, here we have something that we're looking at. We want to translate while i is less than 4. Do a couple of simple operations. This will be easy to do in MIPS. And if it's not less than, then we want to bail out and get out of the loop. So the let's see if we can do this and just kind of generate it by thinking about it a bit. We know right away when working with loops, we want to look at, um, especially with while loops, in particular while loops, we want to look at the, the condition. And in this case, it's an inequality. And it's a, um, it's a set on less than, right, that we're looking at. So it's a set on less than immediate value. And the value that we're going to set, once again, will be T0. The value that we're looking to compare, right, we want to do something like this. Is i less than 4? And so i is an s1. The immediate value is a 4. Um, generally, when working with a set on less than, you're also going to have to have a branch. Instruction. So if that is false, right, if... Um, it's not true, then we want to bail out of the loop. We want to get out. So if it is not true that i is less than 4, and it won't be true if t0 has, in fact, been set to 0. So if t0 is a 0, then we know that we want to branch. And so I'll call this to I'll call this label exit. So I don't, I'm not I don't have this memorized. Um, like these lines of code shouldn't necessarily be memorized, but you can kind of proceed through this in a logical fashion if you start with that. So if that's the case, if it i is not less than four, t zero will be zero. We want to go to the exit and finish up, and we're out of the loop. Now, these two statements here um, should be pretty easy to implement. H equals I plus J, so that's going to be an add. Um, H, I, and J would be S0, S1, S2. And then there's an I plus plus, so that's I equals I plus one, so that's going to be an add immediate. I is S1. Um, so S1 equals S1 plus one. And the element that I tend to want to pay close attention to is what comes right after this is that if I've done the i equals i plus 1, I want to jump to the top. And the top would be this part here. So once I jump, and let me put a colon here to make it a label. Once I jump back up to the top, I do the test again. And so now I have this looping structure where there's testing that goes on. And either we stay within the loop or we go out of it, we proceed downward, and then we also have to go back up to the top. Um, so what we just derived here should look very similar to what you see 
over here on the right side. Notice that here I gave the label the name while and versus giving um, the label the name top and naming the labels is subjective and uppercase lowercase doesn't matter and whether or not the labels on the same line um, as your executable nips instruction or whether it's on the previous line um, it still functions the same although it's a little bit clearer so I typically want to see in, um, each of the instructions indented by a tab or at least two or three spaces and the labels um, uh, aren't required to be indented the same way but it helps see the structure within the code so that's how you could do a while loop using um, using MIPS um, next we'll look at a while loop that involves extracting an array um, element so we'll see that in the next segment